Yes, Muffin. I'm sorry, too. All right, Sydney. thanks for coming in. Uh, pleasure, sir. I understand you have a little programme idea for us. Uh, yes, sir. Called... Drew. It's, um, Talk to Who, sir. <laughs> oh, I see. Basically, it, it's about a man who, could, who can travel anywhere in space and time. Game show, is it? No, it, science fiction. <laughs> oh. His time machine is disguised as a police box, but he, he calls it a, a TARDIS, which stands for time and relative dimensions in space, because it's actually it's bigger on the inside than the outside. Been done, hasn't it? I'm sorry. Go on. Well, he, he's not a human, he's a, he's a time lord, and there's all kinds of monsters and aliens. We're looking for something to go just after the football scores just before jukebox jury. But, but this, is, this is it. I mean, it's a real family show. Oh, smashing. Well, how long do you envisage the show running? <sighs> 26 years. Really? Yes. I've got it all worked out. The Doctor starts off as a crotchety old man. Then after three years, he completely changes. He regenerates, as it were. Yeah. Regenerates into, well, a cosmic hobo. And how long does he last? Another three years. Then he changes into a dashing dandy with a mane of, of, of white hair and a strange old young face. Well, who do we have in mind for that incarnation? Well, I've spoken to John Pert, his agent. He comes free in 1970. Right. But we've got to release him by 1974. He's got Wurzel Gummidge. Of course. I've, um, some drawings here of what the doctor might wear. Um, yes, sir. I think it's very important for the first 18 years we get the costume exactly right. Sort of Edwardian feel. Waistcoats, frog coats. And after that? Oh, anything goes, really. Jumpers, cricket wires, clowns costume. Won't that spoil the mystery of the character? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we could always put question marks on the lapels. Sort of Doctor Who. <laughs> Just thought of a joke, actually. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor Who. Just said it. Don't get it. <laughs> but, but I tell you now, I don't want to do this show unless we get the most charismatic, talented actors to play the Doctor. Interesting. <sighs> What was that?